Hello everyone. This is Dr. N. Sandil Madhasamy, Associate Professor of Computer Science Engineering. Great pleasure for me to welcome you all for this session. In this session, topic to be covered is a generic cloud architecture design under architectural design of compute and storage clouds for the unitary cloud platforms architecture. At the end of Unit 3, students will be able to explain the design principles, architecture and enabling technologies of cloud platform. At the end of this session, students will be able to understand a generic cloud architecture design under architectural design of compute and storage clouds. In this session, cloud platform design goals enabling technologies for clouds and a generic cloud architecture. An internet cloud is envisioned as a public cluster of servers provisioned on demand to perform collective web services or distributed applications using data center resources. In this session, we will discuss cloud design objectives and then present a basic cloud architecture design. The major design goals of a cloud computing platform are scalability, virtualization, efficiency and reliability. Clouds support Web 2.0 applications. Cloud management receives the user request, find the correct resources and then calls the provisioning services which invoke the sources in the cloud. The cloud management software needs to support both physical and virtual machines. Security in shared resources and shared access of data centers also pose another design challenge. The platform needs to establish a very high scale HPC infrastructure. The hardware and software systems are combined to make it easy and efficient to operate. The system scalability can benefit from cluster architecture. If one service takes a lot of processing power, storage capacity or network traffic, it is simple to add more servers and bandwidth. System reliability can benefit from this architecture. Data can be put into multiple locations. For example, user email can be put in three disks which expand to different geographically separate data centers in such a situation, even if one of the data center crashes, the user data is still accessible. The scale of the cloud architecture can be easily expanded by adding more servers and enlarging the network connectivity accordingly. Now we will see the enabling technologies for clouds. For technology of fast platform deployment, Recommend and benefits are fast, efficient and flexible deployment of cloud resources to provide dynamic computing environment to users. For the technology of virtual clusters on demand. The requirement and benefits are virtualized cluster of VMs provisioned to satisfy user demand and virtual cluster reconfigured as workload changes. For technology of multi-tenant techniques, the recommend and benefits are software as a service for distributing software to a large number of users for their simultaneous use and resource sharing if so desired. For technology of massive data processing, recommend and benefits are internet search and web services which often require massive data processing especially to support personalized services. For technology of web scale communication, requirement and benefits are support for e-commerce, distance education, telemedicine, social networking, digital government and digital entertainment applications. For technology of distributed storage, requirement and benefits are large scale storage of personal records, 
and public archive information which demands distributed storage over clouds for the technology of licensing and billing services the recommended benefits are license management and billing services which greatly benefit all type of cloud services in utility computing these technologies play instrumental roles in making cloud computing a reality most of these technologies are mature today to meet increasing demand in the hardware area the rapid progress in multi core cpus memory chips and disk arrays has made it possible to build faster data centers with huge amount of storage space resource virtualization enables rapid cloud deployment and disaster recovery the service oriented architecture soa also plays a vital role this diagram shows a security aware cloud architecture the internet cloud is envisioned as a massive cluster of servers these servers are provisioned on demand to perform collective web services or distributed applications using data center resources the cloud platform is formed dynamically by provisioning or deprovisioning servers software and database resources the servers in the cloud can be physical machines or virtual machines user interfaces are applied to request services the provisioning tool slices out a cloud system to deliver the requested service in addition to building server cluster the cloud platform demands distributed storage and accompanying services the cloud computing resources are built into data centers which are typically owned and operated by third party provider the consumers don't need to know the underlying technologies in a cloud the software becomes a service the cloud demands a high degree of trust of massive amounts of data retrieved from large data centers we need to build a framework to process large scale data stored in storage system this demands a distributed file system over the database system other cloud resources are added into cloud platform including storage area networks database system firewalls and security devices web service providers offer special apis that enable developers to exploit internet clouds monitoring and metering units are used to track the usage and performance of provisioned resources software infrastructure of a cloud platform must handle all resource management and do most of the maintenance automatically the software must detect the status of each node server joining and leaving and perform relevant tasks accordingly cloud computing providers such as google and microsoft have built a large number of data centers all over the world each data center may have thousands of servers the location of data center is chosen to reduce power and cooling cost thus the data center are often built around hydrolytic power the cloud physical platform builder is more concerned about performance price ratio and reliability issues than shared speed performance in general private clouds are easier to manage and public clouds are easier to access the trends in cloud de- development are that more and more clouds will be hybrid this is because many cloud applications must go beyond the boundary of an internet one must learn how to create a private cloud and how to interact with public clouds in the open internet the security becomes a critical issue in safeguarding the operation of all cloud types the summary of this session we learned about a generic cloud architecture design under architectural design of compute and storage clouds i hope you found this video is clear about the topic i lecture thank you and have a pleasant day